Alright, so putting on Canon air filter, uh, cold, in, cold air intake for the Tundra. Um, so, you know, basically super stock, you know, everything, of course, brand new. Um, here's the kit, or box. Here's the kit. Little mount piece, you know, all the essentials, hoses and hose clamps and whatnot. Filter. Filters in the box. And do this real quick. Um, <clears throat> and uh, should be breeze. Should take like an hour maybe, if that. Uh, first things first, open the instructions. Stop. Do not return the product to the store. What? Okay. I'm gonna pretend like that doesn't isn't there. Hopefully it's got pictures. Oh my god, it's got pictures. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so far, what it looks like you gotta do, pull these two hoses off. Uh, two little. Um, it like wraps around to right there, a little insert, that big one, and then two hose clamps here and here. I believe they're 10 mil. They are. Um, loosen those up. Pull the sensor with two screws. Like this actually stays in place. You can just pull these two that are behind here. This one and this one. And then it looks like there's a couple of mounts. You gotta pull out, and then the air box will come out. We'll do that in a second. I'm gonna finish the hose clamp stuff. Okay, and then there's two 10 mils here. Um, I use like two kind of extensions just to get to it, just because it's a little bit easier. Uh, well, that's the first one, and the second one's back here. Just loosen those up. The air box should come up. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna have to. Sorry, camera strap. Uh, disconnect from here. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so pulled this out. Um, this end right here didn't. It literally just goes into the into the, like the the wall. So um, like there's nothing else to disconnect. It's literally just those two bolts right there and there, and uh, and then it just slides out. The only thing that was a little tough is the wire that plugged in here. Um, I couldn't really see it and see how it like clamped down. I'll show you in a second. But uh, right here, this piece um, kind of like you push it together so that it uh, uh, it kind of just like pops out or whatever, a little plastic piece. Um, but like you can't really see it. You just kind of have to like kind of feel for it. And then that'll plug straight in and you won't really need any of this. Okay, this piece is in. Um, everything's pretty tight and stuff. Uh, I left all of this, the brackets, the mounting brackets, all pretty loose, uh, just because it was kind of it was kind of weird, like getting it in there, but uh, it worked out. Um, you can't really see, but the horn right there, there's a mount above it that you have to basically use this mount for. Uh, that's on the back side of this. Let's see if we can see it. It's like right there. And uh, yeah, so basically the mount that attaches to this has to attach to the horn mount. And then down here, there's a little ground that they want, I guess, you to mount this to onto the fender well. Um, and then you just bolt it down to the ground with the ground under it. Uh, that's pretty much it, yep, and then there's this, there's a third one right there, and then I left a lot of these loose and then tightened them back up with a wrench, you know, on the other end for the nut, um, and then that's in. And I also went ahead and put this on. I see a lot of people don't really put that on, but I wanted to just for comfort and so that it wouldn't, if you look down here, it is like resting right up against that wire. So that potentially could like cut that wire. So you want to put these little rubber inserts on. Okay, so here we have the finished product. Um, everything fit, you know, pretty perfect. Uh, hose 
Hoses uh, were kind of a bear to get on. You had to do them a certain way. I definitely suggest um, doing, like putting this one on, you know, uh, keep the hose clamps pretty loose. And then this one, um, put this end on this first and then snug that in, like kind of like wiggle it into this because the other way around was a lot more difficult. Um, and then filters on, pretty easy, you know, just that, and you're pretty much good to go. It just goes through this. Uh, that's it. That's the Canaan cold air, air intake. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up real quick. Nice clean air. Oh yeah. So that's the install for today. Um, I did a bunch of stuff on the Supra, be uploading all of that. Here, well, you would already be seeing that. Um, uh, that's it for this. It was pretty, you know, standard, easy. I mean, it took us maybe an hour at most. Um, gonna put the rest of the plastic on and then go from there. Then tonight, I'll be going to um, street, car, street Racing Made Safe, uh, not Street Car Takeover, Street Racing Made Safe uh, with a couple of buddies and I'll film them racing and stuff and I'll be out there in the truck as a little support vehicle. I won't be driving the Supra uh, just because I do not really feel like breaking it tonight. So I'm just going to enjoy it with my friends and have fun. Uh, thanks to uh, 30 subscribers. I forgot to make that joke at the beginning. <laughs> sense.